Hi, in this After Effects tutorial I will show you how to use expression controls to set up a control layer. So I'm going to create a new composition and I'm using the AGTV 1080 preset. And then I'm going to add a null object which is our control layer and a shape layer. So right now I'm going to rename the null one to uh, control layer. And then I'm going to add some expression controls. So go to the effects and presets tab and then you should see this expression controls folder. And then uh, once you click on this, you'll see these various controls that we can use. And today we are going to use the slider control. So we're going to need two of these and one um, color control. So now once I've added those, I'm going to add an ellipse and a stroke to our shape layer. And I'm just going to change the size of the ellipse to um, 300. And then I'm going to link up the color and the stroke width to our controllers. So what I need to do is I need to alt click on uh, this color stopwatch and then I need to um, select the control layer and then I'm going to use the pick whip tool to link this up with our color control. So let's take a look at this expression. It says this comp dot layer control layer um, dot effect color control color. So this basically takes the effect color, color control, which is on our control layer and uses the color of this to change the color of our um, stroke. Um, then I'm going to alt click on stroke width and I'm going to um, link this up with our slider control. And this basically takes the value of this slider and replaces the default value of the stroke width with this slider. So I'm going to change it to 15 so that we can see the stroke. Now I'm going to rename this to stroke width. And I'm going to rename this to stroke color. So now I want the size of this ellipse to increase each time the shape layer is duplicated. So I'm going to use an expression for that. First I need the index of the shape layer and we can see that if I add more shape layers on um, the index of the shape layer 3 will be 1 and of the shape layer 1 it will be 3. So to fix this, I'm going to subtract the uh, index of our control layer with the index of, for example, shape layer number three, so that we can get a uh, number three. So I'm going to delete these two and I'm going to alt click on this size top watch. And we can see um, it says content ellipse path one dot size. And this can be replaced with value. So now I'm going to uh, multiply this. Um, then I'm going to open bracket. And I'm going to type in um, this comp dot layer. Then I'm going to type in control layer. And then I'm going to um, close this bracket and I'm going to type in dot index. And then I'm going to subtract it with the current index. So we can see that this already starts to look complicated. So what we can do is we can add a variable by typing in control index um, equals And then I'm going to um, copy this and I'm going to paste it right there. 
And now I can just type in control index minus index. So that looks a lot simpler. And then I want to be able to control uh, how much uh, will this value increase with a multiplier. So I'm going to um, multiply this again. And then I'm going to create another variable. So I'm going to type in scale uh, multiplier. Um, and then I'm going to type in equals. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to type in dot effect. And I'm going to rename this slider control to scale multiplier. And I'm just going to copy this by pressing control C. And then I'm going to open the bracket and I'm going to paste the scale multiplier. I'm going to close this bracket and I'm just going to type in slider. So now cre we created a second variable and I'm going to use it right here. I'm going to type in scale multiplier and then I'm going to divide it by 20. So I, I'm dividing it by 20 so that I can have more control um, with this slider. So now if I um, duplicate this layer, for example, five times, and I change the value of the slider, you can see that we get a really cool effect. And a cool thing about this is that we can change the stroke color on all of these with just one simple um, expression control. So I'm going to change it, for example, to green, and I'm going to change the stroke width on all of these, and that's really simple. So this is very useful when you have um, a project with, for example, 20 layers and you need to control all of them. But instead of making uh, keyframes for each and every one of them, you can just make a keyframe um, on your control layer. This is also useful when you're making templates so that the end user can uh, customize all of this um, really simple and he doesn't need to go in every uh, layer to customize it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope that you learned something new. Um, if you want to see more tutorials like this one, please check out my channel and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.